How's it going, tiny little hot dog cuties? Ben here, and I know it's been a while, but second year of med school has been incredibly, incredibly competitive and hard. Honestly, I am so exhausted. We just finished our second block of exams, and it just keeps getting harder and harder. Like we're, like after this block, we're adding an, an additional class to the huge amount of material we're already learning. So it's been rough, but. I wanted to chime in, come in, and make a video about a huge milestone that I have reached in the last year, and that is I have reached one year of medically transitioning and taking hormone replacement therapy. For me, I'm a trans man, so I take testosterone. So technically, I should have made this video about two weeks ago. I reached my one year anniversary on September 28th, 2019, and ooh! I want to show you guys something. It's really cool. So, uh, my fiance uh, got me this really nice mason jar, and I put the last testosterone um, bottle um, of the year here. So, what I'm going to do for the rest of my life until maybe, like, you know, I get into a car accident or, or something, whatever. Whenever I <laughs> um, hit the sack. Uh, you can count how many years I've been on testosterone by looking at how many vials of testosterone there are in this jar. It's a really cool gift. Thank you so much, Dandy. You are the best, and I'm so glad to have you in my life. I've been incredibly busy, so I wasn't able to make this video at the time that I wanted to make it. Also, like, there was a lot going on. Um... You guys don't follow me. On, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know that I was a part of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, photo series of queer Asians in Atlanta. Me and my friend, um, me and my um, fiance Dandy and I, we got to be in that series. Dandy was included because they are my fiance. They're not Asian. They're Kenyan, and a lot of my really good dear friends are also on that photo series. My friend Shimon and my friend Feroza, who's a trans advocate here and activist here in Atlanta. In in addition to that, I was finishing up my second block in this, my second year of medical school, so things were getting really, really rough. Like the last couple of days, I think I've only slept like maybe three to four hours a night to uh, compensate for the test block. But I've been doing really well in med school and I just think a lot of it has to do with my transition. Reaching a year and getting close to a year and being able to pass has really, really, really helped my mental health. People don't realize that, like, obviously I can't speak for all trans people because some trans people not uh, choose not to go through the medical transition um, part of their uh, journey, and that is fine, that is completely normal, and that is completely legitimate. But for me, medically transitioning was a huge, huge, huge deal to me accepting a part of myself and passing is a huge huge i guess rite of passage like being able to pass while on med on testosterone is a rite of passage for me and i can't speak that uh, speak about that for other trans people and another huge huge deal for me is the fact that there's not a lot of brown southeast asian guys on youtube who are trans talking about being trans talking about transitioning I want to be an inspiration to other South Asian, Southeast Asian people who are either queer or some, someone in the queer spectrum and them to see someone around their age, I'm relatively young, I'm only 23, around their age and someone that they can aspire to be. Like I am a medical student, I know I pave a lot of stones for people who are going to come after me in medicine and people who are queer who want to be in medicine i hope to be an inspiration to those people and i also want to advocate for trans rights and I, I know it's a it's a huge area of conflict right now in our political system unfortunately and i just want people to know that trans people are real and that we have feelings and that we aren't crazy we can be crazy just like every other people we are just like every other normal heterosexual cisgender person out there. We have sexualities, we have occupations, we have hobbies, we have nerdy things that we like. I love building computers, as you've seen that I built that one about um, 
nine months ago. I like anime. I like Star Wars, even though my fiance hates the fact that I like Star Wars. They like they're a Star Trek fan. Um, so yeah, it's just a huge deal to reach one year and have this vocal presence here on YouTube. So out of that, what has changed? What has physically changed in my body? Well, my voice has definitely deepened over the last year, and I'm going to play a clip of my introduction that I used to give before a pre-T, and I'm going to say it again now. How's it going, beautiful people? Ben here, and today I want to talk about how my finals went. How's it going, tiny little hot dog cuties? Ben here, and today we are going to be talking about... So yeah, you guys can see that there is a huge, huge difference in the voice. A huge, huge difference in my voice. And I don't know, man. Like, it feels really good. It feels really good to have a deeper voice. I loved... I'm not gonna lie. Like, a lot of uh, trans guys don't like their pre-T voice. But me personally, I really liked my pre-T voice. I thought it was really nice. It's soft and also really fun to listen to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like... Um, hyping myself up, honestly, but people have always told me that my pre-T voice was very nice, and I, I know for a lot of trans men that can be triggering, but for me, that's that's always been something endearing because they never gendered my voice, and I like my voice now. My voice now is pretty awesome. It's it's It has a lot of the same afflictions as my previous voice. It's just more masculine, and it makes me feel good. Other than the, my voice changes, obviously there's a lot of body fat redistribution. I used to carry a lot of fat on my hips and thighs, and lately that, that fat has traveled upwards, and now I have a more square physique. I am a bit self-conscious, so I won't be sharing photos of my body. But uh, if you follow me on Instagram, every now and then I give updates on like, you know, my bicep changes or my uh, shoulder changes and things like things I'm comfortable sharing with you all because I haven't gone through top surgery which I feel like is my last big set of dysphoria that will alleviate my last big set of dysphoria because I have a lot of uh, chest dysphoria but my body physique has become a lot a lot more masculine and it's not just testosterone that's helping with that I have been hitting the gym you guys know on Instagram that I go to the gym pretty regularly unless we're in a testing week. I'm going to I'm hitting the gym three to four times a week. Like I'm bodybuilding. I'm not doing too much cardio. I'm just doing enough for good cardiovascular health. But I am really hitting the gym hard. And of course, I've gotten much broader shoulders than I first started YouTube. And I'm a lot more athletic. I can do a lot more impressive things with my body. And I'm just looking forward to the next year of bodybuilding and where my body's going to go because I'm also planning next year, sometime in the next year, to go through top surgery. And I know who the doctor that I want to go to. And fingers crossed, I end up going to that doctor. I'm planning on starting like maybe a fundraising thing sometime around January of next year. You guys will also notice that my face has definitely gotten squarer, like before my face was softer and now it's more hard and you can see there's like hard edges and hard lines in my face which means that there has been some fat redistribution in my face. So unfortunately testosterone is not a wonder hormone, it's not going to restructure bone in your face. What it does is that it restructures the face, um, the f subcutaneous fat and you may gain muscles in certain areas, making your jaw look that much sharper if you are a trans man. In addition to the restructuring of how my face looks, I've also gotten a lot of facial hair. If you guys notice, like I have so much facial hair now. It hasn't completely connected. I'm hoping that it'll connect in the next year, but it's not just testosterone that's helping me get this much facial hair. Like, my friend, who's also trans, was telling me, wow, you have a lot of hair growth for someone who's only been on testosterone for a year. Because some people, some trans guys, it takes them three to four years to actually grow a beard. And for me, and I'm, I'm almost there. Like, there's only a little bit that needs to, like, fill in for me to, like, have a full beard. And what I've been doing is, in addition to testosterone, I've been applying minoxidil and I've been applying Jamaican black castor oil. I will make a separate YouTube video about how to grow facial hair very, rather quickly while on testosterone as a trans man. If it aligns with the genetics that you have, I will make a future video about that for you guys. But that's just a lot. 
I need to talk about and that I can't cover in this video. As far as other changes that I've realized since I've hit my six month mark, obviously I pass almost 100% of the time now and it's a great feeling. In addition to that, I have more energy, I am happier, I am, I advocate for myself more, I am able to express my emotions without any inhibitions, and I'm able to, excuse me, I'm able to express my feelings a lot better with people. And honestly, none of that is something with testosterone. It's actually the fact that my mental health is getting better and better every year because I am living my true authentic self. And I know there's people that has a problem with me living the life that I want to live. And my, my, my response to that has always been like, just let people do what they want. Like I've always been, the, my political ideology is as long as it's not hurting anybody else, do whatever it is that you want. I don't care how weird it is. I don't care how bizarre it is. Like if it's not harming anybody else and you are happy, and it's consensual with someone else if another person is involved, then who am I to judge? Who am I to enact laws to bar something like that? So that's that's my little political two cents out there. It's not very polit political at all. I think it's just the fundamental decent human being thing to do is to just respect people's differences and let them do whatever it is that they want to do. And finally, the last big change I want to talk about one year of being on testosterone is the fact that my hairline has drastically changed. And you guys might not notice much because I've always had pretty nice big luscious hair, but it has receded somewhat and squared out to a more a male pattern. And my eyebrows has definitely gotten thicker. I've also been applying minoxidil to my eyebrows, but they did thicken on their own for a bit before I started applying minoxidil and Jamaican black castor oil. But yeah, my hairline has definitely become more masculine. And I do like my new hair. I like my old hair. However, I did notice that testosterone, because the active form DHT exists, and it has caused male pattern baldness on cisgender men. It will do the same when you are transitioning female to male. However, there are ways you can prevent that. I've been putting on specific shampoos. There's also medications you can go on to prevent hair loss. Luckily, uh, my family has really good genes as far as like the men in my family keeping their hair. But also, I've been I've been doing uh, preemptive work. I've been putting products and things like that in my hair so that um, I don't experience too much hair loss. And I, my hair is still beautiful and luscious as it was when I first started tea. And if you guys want me to make a video about that, I can absolutely do that for you. Not just hair here though that has massively expanded. I have hair everywhere and I and I honestly mean that there's not that much hair on my torso but my arm hairs have definitely grown I'm not a hairy guy to begin with like I was never hairy pre t and I've just gotten a little bit more hairy but for me this is a lot I know there are some men that are like excessively hairy and um, which is fine and but like I have definitely gotten so much hairier my legs I'm wearing boxes right now so you guys can see, but my legs have gotten oh so much hairier. Like, I am hairy everywhere. And I don't even like hair that much, but luckily uh, other people have said that, like, it's aesthetically pleasing um, to see hair. Especially when you talk to older people. Older people tend to like hair as, like, a aesthetic feature. Younger people don't like hair, and obviously I'm 23 and I'm getting older, so... I don't have a problem with that. So, um, I think, I think that's it guys for this video. I mean, it's been a really, really long journey and I know I look really happy, but when I hit my one year mark on September 28th, that was a really emotional day for me. I was like very, very sentimental about all the, all the struggles that I've been through to get to where I am and the inspiration that I bring to you all that are watching this video that are looking for inspiration to continue to be your authentic selves, uh, regardless of what identity you have. I, I am just really glad to be able to share my story. And it has meant so much to me that you guys viewed my story, you guys shared it, that I'm able to be 
a huge voice in in the area of trans advocacy and I want to continue to being a continue being a huge voice in trans advocacy but in addition to that I want to start going into you know health education affordable foods healthy foods I just want to be a great 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 resource for anyone regardless of their queer, queer identity or if they're cisgender or if they're heterosexual like I just want to be a great overall resource as far as health and as far as living your best life. My end goal of the of my YouTube video series that I do is that I wish to continue doing it for a number of years because it's actually a hobby I really enjoy and it allows me to vocally express my feelings onto a camera that doesn't even talk back to me. It's like therapy but free. And like I just want to be an inspiration to all of you guys and to continue doing the good work that I do, to continue spreading a positive message, and to continue to change as I get older, change my ideology, change my views, and to facilitate and foster good behavior and promote just loving yourself and being your true authentic self. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for following me on my journey. This is just the beginning. We just hit one year. But we're going to get hit so many more years, and I'm going to share my life, my values, what I believe in with you all, so that you guys can bolster your life, your values, and what you guys believe in, even if it's different from mine. This is Ben.